are on the Jasper to Dunster train right now. For those of you who follow me on YouTube, you know that on Boxing Day of 2014, I did the very same train ride. It was in the very same upper dome, and obviously things are a little different because it's winter time, but the scenery is pretty nice as this. Okay, now if you look over here, we've got some of the scenery here. Now look at the front of the train right there. That's what you're seeing right there. Very nice view. And let's look to the left of the train right there. That is this. You can see there's even a glass on the top there, so it's pretty good view as this. Okay. Now, one thing I reached to mention is that on the last train ride I did, they talked about stopping Mount yeah, Robson and the place where the salmon jump up. Now, that obviously didn't happen this winter time, you all can see that. And the other thing I should mention is Mount Robson last time there was a lot of cloud in the sky, you can see it. We're supposed to stop at both on the way this time, so when we get to Dunster, we'll talk then. Hi everybody, here we are at the end of the train ride. This is in the little town of Dunster, BC. Now, it was in 1913 that this railway station was built and very quickly brought new settlers in the area. They were planting crops, clearing fields, and they were building new homes for residents in this area. Now, this is the general store right here. Down there. It kind of looks like an older store, but hey, it looks not bad as it is. And we're going to be turning on this bus right here, Sundog Tours. Okay, now this is actually where we came off on the train up here. The train's just left, right? And right here we have a little museum talking about the history of Dunster in here. Okay, and maybe some homes right there in Dunster. There's some of the homes that people live in right there. Now, as I mentioned, I came here last time. It was walking day, so it was a little different scenery. But hey, this looks like a bad place right now. So uh, yeah, so when we get on the bus, we'll be going to the next stop on the tour, and we'll talk then. Here we are at Rearguard Falls, which is the first season point where the salmon from the Pacific Chinook salmon can actually come up and actually jump up. Might have a hard time seeing it this time of year because usually late August, but we'll see what happens. This is the next stop on the tour on the Jasper train ride. But hey, it's a scenic shot anyways. Look over here. Pretty good, hey? Now let's look over here. off of the Jasper to Dunster train ride tour. Now this is Mount Robson, the highest point in the Canadian Rockies. They call it Majestic Mount Robson. Look at it. Pretty nice. Now, I should mention that you see a lot of cloud there. I've been here a few times before and it's often covered in cloud and they say that only 35 to 40 days a year is it actually clear. So this is nothing to feel terrible about. Now, they do call it Majestic Mount Robson. You can sort of see why. But I should clarify, it's not the highest point in BC. That's Mount Fairweather. 15,300 feet above sea level. That's way in northwestern BC. This is the highest point in the Canadian Rockies, only 12,972 feet. Now, if you look over here, you have a little visitor center right there and it's got a museum at the bottom. And even behind me in this area there, they have a bunch of hiking trails you can do. There's like streams and rivers down there you can go to have a look at those. Now, one thing I should also mention is I've heard in the past that you can do helicopter rides up there. I think from Jasper you can take a helicopter ride, well you can take at least they drive here and they can helicopter ride during winter time and maybe even summer as well. Okay, so that's Mount Robinson, the last part of the Jasper to Dunster train ride tour. We hope you've enjoyed.